Uh, one thing that grabbed me was the way you moved into implants. Mm. And I, I was particularly interested because I like the idea of a story of implants coming out of a, mm. a sort of uh, accidental innovation, if you like, that had nothing to do with dentistry. Mm. And I can't remember the name now of the, the Swedish... Brannemo. Brannemo. Yeah. But then in some way it got transferred into dentistry, didn't <coughs> it? Yeah. And you picked up on it. Yeah, yeah. How did you pick up on, on implants? Because it was a natural... For me, it was a natural progression because I was replacing missing teeth with bridge work are the dentures which people don't really want to wear because of the instability and, uh, of a denture and the social problems of work, taking a denture sure, out yeah. to clean it and so on. Um, or bridge work. If you make fixed bridge work it involves attaching replacement teeth to existing teeth and in order to do that you have to cut into them. So you're actually taking healthy tooth substance yeah. away. Yeah, yeah. Which Bridge work worked, but large bridge work puts added pressures on the teeth. Again, the assault to the nerve of the tooth by drilling it can cause the nerve to die in the future. So I was doing a lot of that anyway. And I thought there must be an easier, better way. And I knew about implants. They were, I mean, they've been, the first implant was placed over 40 years ago, I think 45 years ago now, by Professor uh, Branemark in Sweden. And it, to me, it's, it's a natural, it's the third set of teeth. You've got baby teeth, you've got permanent teeth. Yeah. When those are gone, um, and it's an artificial tooth root yeah. made of titanium. So that's why I thought this, is, this must be the way forward. But why were you the first about that? Well, I wasn't the first. Oh, okay. <coughs> You're among the first. I was one of the first. I, I got involved with it in 1989 right. in Manchester. One of the first in Manchester. Yeah, got involved with it. Yeah, yeah. So that was the one thing that did intrigue me. That mm. you've been, you, you've not been the first time or the last time that you were among the first. Because I, I suspect that you're pretty early into things like digitisation as well, compared with some yeah. of your colleagues. Yes, so, I was. So you've always been a bit of an innovator. Yes, yeah. In, in our kind of business school mm. jargon, and I think it's partly to do with your your interest both in people and technology is what it seems to me, because it wasn't because you simply wanted the technology, you had some sense of what people needed as well. It excites me. Well, it excites yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. We used to do it, I mean I used to, this practice had, when I first bought this practice, the building, I was, I had the surgeries on the ground floor, and upstairs there was a, supposedly a flat, oh, I couldn't right. get permission right. to go upstairs, plain permission, so there was a bathroom in the flat, top and we used to develop the x-rays and hang them over the yeah, bar yeah, to dry yeah, yeah, yeah. because it was just as you do like photographic yeah, film yeah, yeah. and I've told it this is a very antiquated it's horrible stuff to deal with x-rays have to be filed they can get lost digitalization is fantastic because a 10% of the dose x-ray dose for the patient so for patient safety only ten, because the digi digital sensor only requires 10% of the right, x-ray. Right. So you turn the dial down on the x-ray. Right. And you keep it with the patient's record so you can digitalize, you know, look at a digital x-ray, compare an x-ray that you took two years previously side to side. You can enhance the x-ray. You can change the colors. You can change the intensity of it as well. You can do all those things with and also, you can, if you, they're, they're not sure about an x-ray, you can email it yeah. to a colleague. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. But you say, I'm going to ask you a different question now, because it's just occurred to me. I mean, the way you describe it, it's almost as if anyone could see that that was a great advance, but there was a lot of resistance to digitization. So, you saw something as an opportunity that most people were saying, oh, it will never work, what's wrong with doing it the old way? So, again, you must have seen something that other people at least haven't seen as, as quickly as you had. I don't know what. Something grabbed me. Yeah, I think it is. You are interested in new yeah, things. Yeah, and, uh, this is yeah. one of the 